What's up guys, Lifting here. This is a build concept video for one of my latest creations, a high life regen, self-cast, burn, prolift, discharge, juggernaut. The motto of the build is one discharge, one baby. I mean, one discharge, lots of kills, of course. To scale the fire slash burn damage of such a build, we will want lots of endurance charges for our discharge to make use of. Since the more endurance charges, the more fire damage the discharge is going to deal. With this character, we can utilize 9 endurance charges. To reliably sustain these endurance charges, the build makes use of the Juggernaut's unrelenting ascendancy node, which makes it so that every time you are to gain an endurance charge, you gain up to the maximum amount, in this case, 9 of endurance charges your character can achieve. So what do we do to gain these endurance charges? For this build, we primarily get them via a Blasphemy Warlord's Mark setup, which also helps us with life leech and mana sustain by the way. And with this setup there is a chance that every time you kill a cursed enemy you will gain an endurance charge. Alternatively, if Warlord's Mark fails to proc, we simply cast Enduring Cry once or click our Dodre's Elixir and we're back to 9 endurance charges and is ready to go again. Lastly, as the Juggernaut, we also have a 20% chance to gain an Endurance Charge anytime we're hit by damage, so that's something worth taking into consideration as well. To be able to reach a maximum of 9 Endurance Charges, we use 2 Combs Way Rings, we help Oak on Merciless Difficulty, and we of course pick up the Endurance Charge nodes near the Marauder and the Templar. And if you were to get lucky or just have a lot of currency, you could get yourself a belt with plus one to maximum endurance charges as well to make it possible for the character to have 10 endurance charges up and running at a time. The discharge setup I'm currently running here is discharge, increased chance to ignite, increased AOE, elemental proliferation and fire penetration. If I had a six link, I would add in controlled destruction as well. For defenses, this character utilizes a fairly high life pool, lots of armor, endurance charges, obviously, which adds a lot of additional physical mitigation and makes LA weakness maps easy to deal with, and a cast when damage taken immortal call setup, which by the way lasts up to 5 or 6 seconds every time it procs due to the number of endurance charges we have available. Besides that, the two combs way rings and the uh, life region per endurance shot node grants a massive 750 life region to the build currently, making us significantly tankier. Furthermore, I'm also using the Kingsguard unique chest, which makes it so that any time an endurance charge is consumed or expired, you gain 100 life. That means we are constantly healing for 900 life any time we use our discharge or when our castman damage taken immortal call procs and it works really, really well. To greatly increase the damage of the build, I'm using the Realm Ender Staff. With this discharge and elemental prolif gains four plus to gem levels and increased chance to ignite and fire penetration further gains three plus to gem levels, thus granting us a massive damage boost. The great thing is this staff is pretty cheap. Alternatively though, you can use the good old Searing Touch Staff if you prefer, but it should have less damage. One of the questions I get most about this build is how it deals with Reflect damage. Luckily, Reflect isn't an issue as long as you don't do LA Reflect maps. A normal Reflect monster will deal a bit of damage back to you when you discharge, but it is in no way deadly and the life gained from the Kingsguard when doing so almost works as a soft uh, ball pack mechanic protecting you further from the damage. The second most asked question I get is how good this build is against single target bosses. And to be fair, this is probably where the build lacks the most in terms of power. That said, it isn't bad, it's just not on par with the pack clear speed that it provides. I found that as long as your character and gems are high enough level, you'll one or two shot most map bosses from tier 1 till 7, if you manage to ignite them, which you typically do. Above tier 8 and until Tier 11, you will typically need to cast Discharge 4 or 5 times and the boss will die. In red maps, it really depends on what type of boss you're going up against. You can definitely kill them, but they will slow you down a bit. To fix this or alleviate this, I recommend buying yourself two Realm Ender Staffs. One for your regular Discharge setup and one for your single target setup. And then weapon swap accordingly when you encounter a boss. For the single target setup, you can either keep focusing on using Discharge, but instead of using LA Prolif and increased area of effect, you can add in Controlled Destruction and Concentrated Effect. Or you can use Flame Surge, Spell Echo, Concentrated Effect, Fire Pen and Controlled Destruction. 
That is, if it is a 5 link staff, of course. As for the skill tree, it's pretty straightforward. Stack life, get endurance charges, scale the damage via fire, AoE and burn damage, and get some of the nodes that increase your chains to ignite. Oh, and I recommend picking up Elemental Overload for a massive damage boost as well. To proc this effectively, I set up a cast when damage taking Blade Vortex increased crit and duration setup so that every time I click my Dodrace Elixir and take damage, it will proc the Blade Vortex, which then eventually crits and grants the Elemental Overload buff. The Dodre Elixir also procs another cast from damage taking setup containing the Flame Golem and Blood Rage, so I can obtain a few Frenzy charges and benefit from the Golem buff. Anyway guys, this is the build concept, I will leave the build instructions in the description of the video for anyone interested in trying it out. Subscribe for more Path of Exile content and check out my IRL channel. Thank you for watching and bros, do you even What's up guys, nerd. this is a build concept video for my dual obliteration wand Chaos Blade Vortex CI Evasion Trickster. That's a mouthful, and that's what she said. Anyway, the build